welcome back to Sister Sun Factory, and today we are in New York. So make sure to please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. Please comment and put in the comments down below what kind of video you want us to do next. So today, my grandma is going to be making bake and salt fish. If you guys don't know what that is, it is a Trinidadian dish. So let's get to the video. Okay guys, let's go to the kitchen and see what my grandma's baking right now. So here's my grandma. Yes, good morning. So what are we good. baking today? Baked, fry baked with salt fish. self rising flour. All you have to put is water. But I use warm milk. I like milk that it could get the, the flour moist. Alright? So I yeah. Get my dough ready. So I'm just gonna help. Alright? You, you take it like this because it's kind of soft. Here. And we do it like this. Then we become a ball. Okay. So yeah guys, you can make this at home. Alright. Okay. So <laughs> Then we go to the salt fish. Some people call it cut fish. It was washed, put in to boil with lime, get that salt out, and then I have, I prep. So it's onions, the lime, garlic, scallion, in Trinidad we call this side. This is pimento, which is just a seasoning pepper. It's not hot. And tomatoes. See, she knows a lot about <laughs> cooking. Yeah, this is really sticky. I'm just going to put it in here. Yeah, it's sticky. Yeah. Because you have to put it here in the powder so it wouldn't stick to your hand. It's not sticking to mine. All right? And then you do this. You just make a bowl. Right? Yeah. Here again. Try one. Here. Alright? Once it's flour, it like no, you're doing it like this. Look. Oh. You see? Take your time. All right, all right, and you pull it together. That's the way. Look, you see? Look. I went from the back foot. Right. And then you do it like this because you want it smooth. Ooh, so, so much in the hand you guys watch this video so that you can make these at home so guys we are done with the bakes we just have to fry them these are what they look like my grandma is working on the scallions oh. onions and trinidad we call the scallions side okay then you have the pimento pepper, which is a seasoning pepper. Is it spicy? It, it flavor, no. It's a flavored pepper. Everything here is going into the salt fish. Okay? Everything here. So it's boil, wash, and squeeze. Okay? By the time that is drying, because it have a way that it would spring a, a water and I don't like it. So it's drying there. Then I put some shadow benny to season up. This is a sort of a, also a, a flavor of your, your salt fish. And there's a nice smell to it. And your garlic. And everything I cook and I put garlic. Garlic is very good. See my line?
who pinned it away at the wall. So this is what we get in from this. You see? Yeah. I don't know how to bake, so do not judge me if I am doing this wrong. So you don't you don't pull it. You just squeeze and when you figure it's a nice um size you just drop it and put it in you have to rest be careful how you rest on it Baked and salt fish made by my grandma, a Trinidadian delicious meal you guys should make at home. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to comment if you like this video. And I'm gonna go eat some of this stuff that is really good, so. Bye.